What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I really like Eddie Hearn. I think he's doing a great job promoting. I've had the luxury and pleasure of interviewing him more than once. And he seems like a solid dude. You know what I mean? Some promoters seem slimy and stuff. He seemed like a cool, chill dude you would have a beer or two with. You know what I'm saying? And I just like what he's been doing. The Joshua Klitschko, they're saying it sold 80,000 plus tickets. The UK got it lit right now. I used to live in England. I cannot wait to go back to visit. I got to actually get my passport because I need a new passport. But um, I want to go back to the UK, man. The Brits have been doing their damn thing, holding it down. Eddie Hearn's putting together some great matches. Hey, oh, man, you know, AB. So a little UK shout out from the cam man who fights Adrian Granados next month. And... This weekend, we've seen a great fight. It was Showtime fight, Mayweather Promotions, Matchroom, and it was just a great card with Badu Jack, James DeGale. I had James DeGale losing the fight, but he showed heart, and he made it competitive. So, this just in from Eddie Hearn. You guys clicked on the video. Let's get straight to it. The WBC sent a formal letter, and I'll read the letter. Mr. Leonard Ellaby of Mayweather Promotion, Mr. Eddie Hearn. Dear friends, serve this letter as the beginning of free negotiation period for the mandatory title defense of WBC champion Bud Dujak against Caleb Smith for the WBC super middleweight title. If there is no agreement between parties, the WBC will conduct a purse bid offer on Friday, February 17, 2017 at the head offices of the WBC in Mexico City. Please accept my cordial regards. And 33 minutes ago, Eddie Hearn just posted that and just received this from the WBC ordering immediate negotiation for Caleb Smith to face Badu Jack for the WBC world title. I love this. WBC, everybody respects the green belt. Shout out to the Suleiman family. They're doing their thing. And both fighters in the James DeGale Badu Jack fight, they retain their titles. So the show must go on. It was a war, but nothing should stop. You know what I mean? It's not, oh, give the fighters a rest. The fight doesn't have to take place, but the business side does. Because Caleb Smith is the mandatory for Badu Jack, and we knew that. Now, I did watch Caleb Smith. For some of you guys in the States that don't know Caleb Smith, he looks to be the best of the Smith family. Related to the guy that just fought Canelo. I was born ready. Liam Smith. He's related to Paul Smith, who fought Andre Ward and Arthur Abram twice, right? And Caleb Smith is, is the undefeated one. And he's the one, his power looks like it showed up. I watched his last fight. It was on the Anthony Joshua versus Eric Molina card. And I actually felt bad. He fought a guy, Luke. Black Ledge or whatever his name is the guy was clearly showing heart but he was overmatched and he was getting beat up and I thought the fight could have been stopped maybe a little bit before it actually did get stopped because it looked to me that the end was near and there was no real chance for him to work his way back in the fight the power and the skill of Kalem just seemed a bit too much but like I said the show must go on Smith needs his shot his opportunity he looks like he's working hard since the his last bout and that's that's what it is. WBC champion Badu Jack and Mayweather Promotions, they have some tough decisions. Do you pursue a James DeGale rematch? This is that fight I was talking about. So he improves to 22 and 0, 17 knockouts. And this would clearly, a Badu Jack would clearly be his biggest step up in terms of name and class. Badu Jack is a person you can't sleep on. I thought that George Groves was a 50-50 fight and Badu Jack knocked him down and looked good in that fight. I thought he won against... Um, James DeGale just last Saturday and even before that I I picked Anthony Durrell to beat him and he proved me wrong that time again so this is this is good I, I'm I'm really liking the WBC I'm really liking this weight division right now 168 Caleb Smith's been working hard to get his opportunity you see him picture with Triple G Triple G looks like he did not want to and hey, no follow <laughs> like he didn't even want to take this pick but I'm all for it like Errol Spence Jr. at welterweight he's in route to the other matchroom fighter Kell Brooks belt give him his opportunity or drop the belt and and be done with it same thing with Caleb Smith I'm very consistent if you guys notice these guys are working hard staying in shape and eating right and doing all this sacrificing being away from their family to get these opportunities so they deserve it whether Badu Jack was in a tough fight or not or a controversial fight the show must go on Caleb Smith 
He's been grinding. He put himself into that mandatory positioning. So Team Badu Jack and Team Mayweather Promotions, they got to decide what they want to do. They said, we have plans to go on the light heavyweight. So they have to have those hard conversations and determine what's best. Can he actually not make super middleweight at all? Can he do it with with a nutritionist or does he just have to move up? You know what I mean? Because your body's going to tell you what to do. And you don't want to fight a guy like Caleb Smith, like a mandatory who's hungry, if you deplete yourself and you're dry on the scale and you know you're gaunt and you're not at your best because Caleb Smith looks to be solid he looks to be really good it's just a matter of um, how he's gonna look I didn't realize he was that much bigger Wow that's his big brother Paul Smith that fought Andre Ward Wow I didn't realize he was this big this tall because I met Paul Smith too and you gotta keep in mind Paul Smith fought Ward at like 173 or something and missed weight so yeah, he looks pretty big. What the hell? I I never noticed that. I I've definitely made myself familiar with Caleb Smith. I don't know everything about him. If you guys are from Britain or the UK or whatnot, and you have extra details you want to tell me, let me know in the comment section. But I have been checking for him for a while because he's been working his way up the ladder, and I kept hearing the name. So. It'll be interesting. Zordo Ramirez, I just dropped a video on the channel about that. Their team said after watching James DeGale versus Badu Jack that they believe they could beat him. Then you got a hungry mandatory. Look. Oh, this is Liam. That was Liam training for Canel. I thought that would be... This is his brother. Oh wow, he's six foot three. I didn't realize he was that tall. I kept seeing them pictures. I'm like, he looked pretty tall. Oh wow, that, that's some good height. Luke Blackledge is, is the guy he last fought, and it was just it was kind of like a massacre. But the Rocky Fielding, that was a nasty take TKO. I, I started checking for him before that time. So let me know what you think. But Eddie Hearn has already showed you guys the proof. The WBC is conducting business as usual. Like Jay-Z said, politics as usual. <laughs> and hopefully he gets a shot. And if he doesn't, then Badu Jack is probably going to move up and maybe chase Adonis Stevenson and vacate his belt. And if Badu Jack does vacate, then Caleb Smith should be able to fight for the vacant belt. So let me know what you guys think. What will happen? What does Badu Jack do? Does he fight Caleb Smith? The James DeGale rematch? Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video like the video was always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.